Thank you. And uh, the latest effort to contain that massive oil spill on the Gulf of Mexico will be tried out today. The huge metal and concrete box you see here being transported by barge is due to arrive at the site of the damaged well very soon. When it gets there, another boat equipped with cranes will lower the four-story dome to the seafloor. It will sit on top of one of the two remaining leaks in the well. Then a pipe will siphon the gushing oil to a vessel on the water's surface. In the meantime, officials tell us there were five controlled burns of some of the oil yesterday, and they're hoping more can actually be conducted today. And joining us live from Burbank is Reese Halter, conservation biologist at Cal Lutheran University. Thank you, Reese, for joining me. Um, great Good detail. Good morning. There's great detail about this box from its size to how it's supposed to work. With all of those words I just read to our audience, no one's sure if this is actually going to work. Well, it is a very delicate matter. As you uh, explained, it's got to be lowered very gently with subs, with guy wires. And once it gets down there, of course, the pressure is un unimaginable. 152 atmospheres and temperature. So they've got to try and land it and, uh, and cap it and then get the uh, oil heading towards the surface. And this has been these, these huge metal and concrete boxes have, used, have been used before, but not at this depth, I understand. True, and then you know the other thing is, one, it once uh, falls well, we land it, and the oil starts to rise. I want to remind everybody about 1,600 feet abo above the surface, the oil, the petroleum, and the natural gas get very gummy and mm. gooey, and so BP's got to pump water and uh, and other uh, chemicals down there to to, to ease it. Uh, otherwise, it it can blow. And we just also reported that they've tried to burn off some of that oil. At this point, if this dome does not work, um, Reese, how much longer before we start seeing some serious examples of uh, the effects on nature? And the environment. Oh, well, we're already uh, we're we're already seeing it. I mean, the the sea turtles are copping it really hard, and uh, the Kemp's Ridley sea turtle, mm -hmm. the rarest of them all, wouldn't you know? It calls the Gulf of Mexico home. All right, Reese uh, Halter, thank you very much. We appreciate you coming on, and uh, we will continue to follow this as this dome is actually placed over uh, where that well is still leaking. Thank you very much. And right now, President Obama, thank you, thank you is meeting with his national security team to discuss his strategy in Afghanistan and Pakistan. Now, the meeting comes at a critical time as law enforcement officials here are asking Pakistani officials for help investigating the Pakistani American suspect in the Times Square bombing attempt. Nora O'Donnell's MSNBC's chief Washington correspondent. And Nora, we know that there were raids uh, upon the arrest. Once this suspect was identified, there were raids in Pakistan, several people taken into custody. What else is the administration asking from officials in Pakistan? What do they want them to do? Well, they want continued cooperation from the Pakistani government, and they're going to be coming up with a request at the end of the week about just what they can do. <clears throat> but that's not what this meeting really is about. I spoke with a senior administration official, <clears throat> excuse me, Chairman, who said that.